this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum along with a song called Supper Time by Jim Reeves. And the recording actually does sound just slightly sharp, so you may actually have to go to the tuners themselves and kind of tighten them up just a little bit to kind of tune tune your, your D and A and G into Jim's. Um, we're going to start off with kind of that intro progression around an A major, and then we play A major. First finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G second fret, and third finger on the B string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now while you're on A's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift off the third finger, make that an A suspended second. Or you could add in the pinky on the B string third, make it an A sus and kind of say some things around A chords. Or especially for this tune, you may want to lift off the second finger and make that an A7 chord. Or kind of readjust the fingers and kind of put the pinky in on the high E on the third and kind of get that A a little bit more lighter, that A7 a little bit more lighter. And then from the A on the intro, we go to a D major chord. We play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really happy. And while you're around D's, it can be kind of cool to lift the second finger, make that a D suspended second, or add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended and kind of say some things around the D chord. And through that intro, it's kind of two A's and two D's. And you could do it with downstrokes, kind of A, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, A, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D. And I'm kind of adding a little bit of muting to that. Or one of my favorite strum patterns from a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up. notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up you do a bass note for the chord in it so on the A you'd have an A for the bass and on the D you'd have a D for the bass so that's kind of a bass down up up down up so you try it that way you'd have the A with an A bass or maybe an A set to lead to the D and then a D and then from that intro then we go into our main verse progression we start on D major then we go to a G major chord. We play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, the second finger on the low E third fret, the third finger on the high E third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E third for the G major. And that might make it a little bit easier to get from the D chord to the G, you kind of leaving the third finger down. And then from the G we go back to D, and then we do another D. We go to A major twice, and then we go back to the D major twice. So we tried our verse with kind of a down, down, up, up, down, up. We have D, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, down, up, A, A, B, B. And we're going to add basses to that. Make it a D to the D. Try that we could do it with the down, down, up, up, down, up, and have G down, up, up, down, up, G down, up, up, down, up, D, D, A, A, D, D, or we could add basses to that. Now another way that I think about through the song though is something called country feel. And on the D chord, normally what a bass player will do is kind of play the D note for kind of your bass note. And then if you count it up five from there, D, E, F, G, A, and A note is something called the fifth. 
And so you could kind of alternate between those for your basses, kind of a D bass and then a down up or down, and then an A bass and then back to a down or down. So you have D bass, down up, A bass, down up, A, A, kind of around the D, what I call a country feel. And on the G, you'd have low E bass to the D string, and that same sound between a G note and a D note. We'd have a D with D bass, a G with a B bass, D, D, A, A, D, 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 G, G, D, D. Very, very end, you'll kind of hear a stop time on an A chord, and then you'll hear this little bass lick where you play second on the D string and then open D twice. And if you wanted to, you could even kind of back that up with kind of an A, G, and then a D. It's kind of an option in the end. So we tried our last chorus, we have the G. That's the basics of how you can strum through Summertime by Jim Reeves. So good luck! <laughs>